If you grew up in Johannesburg, you heard nothing good about this building. You heard nothing good about this area. Everything bad that you can imagine, it was at Ponty. If people heard that you were coming to visit here, let alone stay here, they'd say you're out of your mind. Ponty City Apartments is the tallest residential building in Africa. It's 40 years old. The neighborhood below it remains one of the most dangerous in the country. Once you see Johannesburg skyline, it's synonymous with Ponty. When it first opened, it was the creme de la creme of inner city living, but it was white inner city living. Apartheid meant that legally, anybody that wasn't white couldn't live here. Maybe they could be your maid or be your servant, but they couldn't live here. Inner city crime soared in the 1980s and 90s. The drug dealers moved in. There was no control, and you know, most of the buildings started to deteriorate and the buildings started to become havens of criminals. Those Nigerians, they are drugs, prostitutes, young Ends of the Ever since I came, it was so, I can say it was notorious. There have been a lot of suicides happening in the building. It was easy for people to jump into the court. So they've tried to seal the windows in order to make it safer and not for people to jump into the court. New owners took over Ponty in 2001, just as police started trying to clean up the neighborhood. Life in the hollow tower got better. You can walk to Ponty now, you will see that it's a, it's a nice environment. People, they feel free to be walking around there. Take your spoon and your fork. Ponte is so safe. Mommy loves you. Good night, ne? I love Ponte because of its security. Is that the flat number? Um, 5305. Because of the nature of the area, its history, being notorious as one of the, the kind of murder capitals of the world, the, the guys who, who kind of decided we're going to turn the building around a bit, they, they came with the mentality that they need to kind of turn it into like a prison dorm almost. Criminal gangs and drug dealers may have been locked out of Ponte, but they still have the run of the neighborhood. There's a lot of snitches out here. Those are the people who made it difficult for us to run our business since it has changed here in Pointy. And since we can't operate with the security guards anymore, it's been seriously difficult for us. That place could actually turn into something nice, drug-free and everything, even though I do sell drugs for a living. Don't get me wrong, you know? But you're going to have to sign in to get into the building now. The place is a bit like Fort Knox. Ponty's notoriety now draws tourists, including South Africans, who were too scared to venture in before. It's a complete and utter landmark. We never come in here because it had such an incredibly bad exactly. rep. After 30 years in Johannesburg, it's the first time I'm in the Ponty. There you go. Once the tourists leave, it's still fairly rare to see white people after dark. The only really white people you see around the area are, are mostly junkies. Um, so it, it's kind of like an odd thing. Um, and, and a lot of the kids, when they first saw you, especially if they saw you at close quarters in the lift or something, they'd, they'd often be a bit scared. The space is quite nice. I mean, you've got a, a really spacious apartment. You think of a city living anywhere else in the world, you don't really get anything like this unless you're paying a fortune. <laughs> the, the layout of the building is quite an interesting one. You've got the more expensive accommodation towards the top and the less expensive one towards the bottom. Um, and so obviously that already sets trends in terms of the income bracket you have as you go up the building. I would say there is a concentration of the white minority towards the top. And people do see white people coming here to us and everyone else. 
it feels like hope, you know, like Josie, it's no longer the place where it's scattered, it's separated, it's not as, you know, as, as it was. We all humans, let's make this happen. So this is change. This is change. People think it's strange, me, a white guy, moving into this building or moving into this area. I see nothing wrong with it. You know, it's actually something we brag about, or I brag about, because, you know, it is something that is worth talking about, that, you know, so who do you stay with, um, you know, at Ponty? Well, my neighbors are all white. <laughs> Ten years ago, it was a vertical urban slum. If a building like this can be pulled back from the brink and turned into something sustainable, why can't the rest of Johannesburg undergo the same metamorphosis, or for that matter, South Africa?